Well, good morning. I decided that it's time for me to get out of the house and start exercising. That if I'm going to be the radiant bride of Christ, that I have to be healthy. And that means that I have to get moving. That means that I cannot be um, just a hearer of the word and not a doer. I need to be doing. So I decided that I needed to get out and start moving. This is the time for movement. This is the time, good morning. This is the time for action. Action speaks louder than words. If we are just going ahead and just speaking the word but not being a doer of the word, what good is that? And so I've been studying Proverbs um, 31, verse 10 through 31 in the Passion Translation. And while I'm doing that, I've discovered that the radiant bride which we are the church the church of jesus christ and if we are the church his bride that we've got to be healthy we've got to be strong that she got up early in the morning and that she exercised and she made sure that she was fit well if i'm going to follow in the proverbs 31 um way of being and doing that means i gotta get out of the house i gotta get moving so that's what i'm doing i'm walking around the park and all of these resources are provided for us but we just need to be diligent good morning and actually do and utilize what is available for us this is available for us this park this resource and yet we make excuses now, the same time that I take to walk around the park is um, actually probably, what, a half an hour or so of walking? And if I do a half an hour or so of walking where I can meditate the word and combine it with something else, even doing this little clip here with you, that... Um, it's going to be productive. It's going to be useful this time. So just uh, come with me for this walk. Hopefully I'll be able to do this at least uh, three to four times and um, we could see the changes. So that means also that I have to incorporate my diet too. How am I going to change my diet? How am I going to change um, my eating patterns? Um, so that I can be that radiant bride of Christ, that I can radiate God's goodness and share that goodness with others. Yeah, so thank you for coming with me around the park. <laughs> and uh, just be blessed, just be blessed. To get busy though, to do the work of the kingdom, we've got to be healthy. We've got to um, be strong because uh, the radiant bride the church she was a warrior she was wealthy and um, she was inspirational she took care of things she was a great entrepreneur businesswoman and all of these things and for the church we the body of christ each one of us male and female we have to be all that we can be we need to be all that god has declared that we are God has decreed that his church must shine, be brilliant. It's written in the word. It's called the Radiant Church. And the last translation of that that I've read is from the Passion Translation, which calls her the Radiant Bride, calls us the Radiant Bride. And I de declare what Christ has decreed for me that and for us that we are we are the church we are jesus christ's radiant bride and that means that we've got to get busy and do what the word says so come with me on this journey i'm going to be doing a series of different um, bible studies i'm going to be on instagram live 7 30 in the morning to discuss this whole idea of the radiant bride that the church is the bride and one of the things that she is, is that she is healthy. So I decided to come out in the park and to walk around and start doing exercising. Start watching my diet because I've got a lot of work to do. And to be able to do it, I've got to be healthy and strong. I can't have um, high cholesterol or 
or high blood pressure or any of those things I have to be healthy and strong so just uh, come with me on this journey I don't know where it's gonna lead us but I know that God has great things in store for us and um, I just want to do God's will I want to do his will I want to follow his path to uh, just be what he wants me to be and I just felt this urge to come on out and start this walking program just start to walk and to move now it's kind of hard to walk and move and talk at the same time but um, I just wanted to introduce this to you and and just continue to encourage me as we go through this process because I want to be God's radiant bride that's what I want to be I want to fulfill his purpose before he comes back because I believe he's coming back because his word says that he's coming back so I want to be ready but I also want to fulfill his purpose his kingdom purpose on the earth now and I want to do it healthy in Jesus name Jesus is the rock Well, I am back from my walk. I feel a little sweaty, <laughs> but it has been really good. And I'm going to really talk about the Radiant Bride. And uh, I feel kind of radiating right now <laughs> from the walk. Um, but in Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, the church needs to be activated. And I believe strongly that this is our time right before the Lord returns, because I do believe in the marriage supper of the bride and the lamb. And so who we are and what we should be as the church can be found in Proverbs 31. Yes, as I was saying, the Passion Translation is the latest translation. I think it's copyrighted in 2017. So it is giving a revelatory view of what we are supposed to be. Now, when I say the church, I'm not talking about the small church, the religious body. I'm talking about people who are willing to fulfill the purpose of God, who've accepted Jesus and want to do the will of God. Let's say stated in um, the prayer that Jesus had for his for us and his disciples he said thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so it's up to us as his church to get busy and get moving and in every aspect of it because the Proverbs 31 woman she was a gardener yes she was <laughs> she advocated for others she was a, a wife and um, a mother, the church, a nurturer. And that's what the church of Jesus Christ is supposed to do. Nurture and take care of the family of God, but also even to care for the nations. So uh, as I go through the study of Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, come with me for the ride because we're going to receive revelatory information, downloads from the Holy Spirit, as to what we're supposed to be busy doing. And I want to be, and I am, the Lord's radiant bride. I want to have oil in my lamp. And I encourage you, again, if you can, join me in the morning, 7.30 a.m., because that's exactly what I'm discussing on Instagram. And I'm also going to try and do some YouTube as well on this and, and do the study. And um, so come with me and I'm going to be exercising in the morning so you can come with me as I walk around and gain uh, strength, physical strength, spiritual strength, soul strength, strength in my mind. Yes, I can be that warrior woman, that, that woman of valor, the radiant bride. Well, if you like this video, then like, share and subscribe, comment down below and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye. I just love the garden, just looking so great. Don't you think it's wonderful? Yeah. Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed.